<laughs> Hello, I'm Richard Vobes, the Bald Explorer, and I'm out on another walk. And today I'm joined by the lovely Harriet and Lola. Hello, Lola. Hello. How are you? <laughs> oh, sorry, did it for you. Uh, today, Harriet, you brought me somewhere special. Where have you brought me today? Uh, Richard, today I brought you to Morton Corbett Castle, just north of Shrewsbury. Ah, well, funnily enough, we did get a glimpse, did we not, as we drove up? We did. We did, but it's now hidden behind this hedge. Should yes. we go and have a look? Uh, yes. I think there's a gate just down there. There is a little bit of oh. signage, and immediately we see, wow. yeah, the staggering house of Morton Corbett Castle. Look at this amazing ah. and awesome site. That is quite staggering, isn't it? Look how big the rooms were, the size of those windows. Yes. How high the ceilings must have been. I know. Yes. Good God. I know. It makes your house look almost small. And yours. <laughs> yes, it does that to mine. Um, a little bit of history that I looked up on the English heritage site. This is um, looked after by the English heritage site. Apparently the Corbett family still own the property. Oh really? Yeah. Okay. Um, they came on the scene from around the 16th century which is what this beautiful looking um, Italianette style building is. I'm going to carry on around the perimeter I think but originally around 1100 there was a, a Saxon house here made of wood a Saxon property but in 1200 that all changed and um, it was then started to be built built in stone and I assume it must have been then from Norman influences because the Saxons obviously uh, disappeared it was enlarged and this was uh, built in the 16th century okay it's absolutely wow. amazing, isn't it? It must have been huge! Yeah. I just can't comprehend the size. It's... Wow! During the English Civil War, it had a lot of uh, skirmishes and uh, fights going on here where a lot of it was actually demolished, unfortunately, okay. which is a bit of a blow. Yeah. Um, so it would have, you know, if it hadn't been for the English Civil War, it would have been all right. But in uh, the 18th century the Corbett family were thinking about knocking it down and building another building here right um, huh? but that plan never actually happened I think that's quite nice because it means this is now open to the public thanks to English Heritage yeah who the Corbett's have um, given them the job of looking after it I suppose there is online and I would use it in my video but it's probably copyright a stunning picture on the English Heritage website and I do urge people to go and have a look of what the building would have looked like when it was complete although you yeah. know you almost get the impression of what it must have looked like anyway Gross. are you getting a bit wet there Lola yes. come on we've been to Acton Burnall before which was a medieval household and that was far, far smaller. Yeah, far smaller. I mean, this is just ginormous. The amount of servants that you must have had to have. Yes. To run something like that. Here's a rather lovely entrance. I wonder if we can just um, go through this rather spectacular entrance just up here behind me and have a look. Um, I guess this must be the north door. some signs here to help you interpret the uh, the walls and it says here the site of an Elizabethan kitchen not that there's a lot to see there is a little indentation here to go into a little alcove just have a look in the, in the larder see what they've got uh, just bread and rolls nothing terribly exciting here you get to see a sense of what the not only the thickness of the walls which are incredibly thick but also the contents of what was inside the walls this this red sandstone that um, is abounds in Shropshire certainly this sort of part of Shropshire and then a, a lot of what looks like pebbles rounded pebbles and you think well where did they get those from because there's no coast here this is a yeah. land, landlocked county for goodness sake 
and then over here look at that lovely um, craftsmanship with the stones beyond the wonderful beautifully cut hand cut um, stones hand carved they're amazing I'm guessing that we're in the courtyard this bit here it this looks quite different this is much more even sort of brick than that yes I think this I think different time periods must be there was a larder beneath and accommodation up above these bricks would have been handmade and you've got the big bricks at the bottom and then probably regular so well, what regular now for nowadays so you can see that the holes in the in the walls there is probably where the uh, beams went for the floor because we would be in the storeroom beneath okay down here look this this must have been perhaps a big colossal beam two of those uh, yeah. going across yeah because yeah, yeah. the floor would, would our heads would be brushing on the well maybe a bit higher than us because of those windows quite amazing and then looking back this way this is like some great hall isn't it yeah, yeah. absolutely amazing you get a sense of the size of these uh, these actually if you stand next to them you get a sense of the size of these blocks of stone look They're at that huge, aren't, aren't they, they? <laughs> yeah as you say size of my hand just uh, um, <laughs> hewing them out of the they rocks be very heavy. yeah no definitely there's a hole here There's to four. climb through and there now thank you another room here to go into it's quite nice oh is that a, a room under underneath a little cellar oh how that how interesting down here look go down these steps be careful not to slip on this wet stones and into a very spooky I don't know what this was whether it was the wine cellar wine cellar I was going to say it's very it, echoey isn't it it's it? it? very echoey yeah with a solid floor again brick yeah and I can go if you stay there for a moment I oh, yeah. really can't see me but we'll see you in the background Get some, you just stand up here. Some sense of depth, yeah. If I stand up, I'll scrape my bald head. Yes. Right. What do you think, Lola? Not a lot. <laughs> <laughs> You're not very impressed, are you? Yeah, no, very nice. Although down there is probably the warmest place. There's the sun that we, yes, yeah, the sun we had is sort of dying and there is a brisk wind but again here we are look at this this is absolutely stunning all around these amazing windows nearly as big as Vobes Towers I think the Essie would warm this up <laughs> I think even I think even oh, the Essie would struggle no, no. well I have to say I'm thrilled to have uh, come here thank you Harriet for bringing me here well I can't believe that we've never been before, we've never been before. I've never been before no is nor is the bald explorer no but that's another one we've crossed off on the list in Shropshire so if ever you're in the area do come along and have a look yeah it's absolutely staggering it's amazing how much is left um, pretty chilly now though it's very cold <laughs> it's very cold Anyway, uh, don't forget to follow, like, and subscribe. Thanks so much for watching. Thanks to Harriet for uh, bringing me. Thanks to little Lola for oh, Lola, Lola. being in the show. Good girl. And I'll catch you on the next one. I think there's going to be a rain shower, so we are <laughs> going to dive for the car. Till the next time. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Bye.